Okay, we're getting a bit narcissistic, I feel, in uh, some cases, in some of the reviews I've been doing of late. Um, in that we're looking at body stuff. Not everything, because obviously there's been other things I've done that have nothing to do with body images and whatnot. Uh, but I do like to take care of myself. I have been trying to lose a bit of weight, although, quite frankly, I don't have too much body weight at this point in time. I do, however, have some body fat I would like to get rid of. So I looked around online and found this stuff. Abdomen Thermogenics. Abdominal Formula Intensiver. Gel... something or other, right? Yeah. Yeah, everything starts going to the language, I think, at that point. Hot therapy, gel, rigid center, whatever that says in whatever language. By a company called Ja Amor, the human nutrition. And it's got a pack of some of these abdomens and the bottom part of the pecs and bio. Abdominal bio? Who knows? Uh, various different languages written on the side. The ingredients are there. Precautions! Avoid contact with eyes and mucous membranes, i.e. your nose. Wash hands thoroughly after use. We do not recommend the use of very uh, sensitive skin, prone to redness and capillary fragility. Apply only to undamaged skin. And then we've got the same sort of stuff on the back again, as well as various little things like that, which all seem to be in different languages, so I've got no idea what it really says. Some kind of certificate stuff on the bottom there. Don't know what that is. Research and science. I'll believe you. And then various different seals at the top, which I've already brought in because I've actually tried this stuff out. Uh, and you get the actual product itself in its glory. Uh, yeah, it's just basically a standard tube of, uh, of stuff. And it's got exactly the same sort of writing on the bottle itself uh, that we get on the packaging. And just to give you some indications to how this works, you basically squeeze it out onto your fit and like that, and then you rub it into whatever body part you're wanting to lose fat on. Now this is advertised obviously for the stomach, for the abdomen, because of the name and whatnot, but there's no reason why it can't be used on any other body part. Now, I've gave this a try. After a few minutes, you do sort of notice your body warming up. It's called a hot treatment, hot therapy for a reason, because it does warm up whatever part you uh, put it on. Uh, you rub it in, you leave it there, it basically forms a sort of sheath over your skin, so to speak. Um, first couple of times I, I, not, uh, I tried this, I noticed that when I later went off to have a shower, several hours later, uh, it was still on, it was still sort of wrapped around my skin, so to speak, which felt a bit odd. I've never, I've used products like, uh, you know, uh, skincare, lotions and whatnot before, but I've never known anything attach itself to the skin like this. It was literally like I just had a thin layer of uh, cling film or something just sort of still on my skin. Uh, although it didn't feel like cling film, that's just the best thing I can think of to compare it to. Um, it sort of gives an initial shine that fades away quite quickly. After the shine has faded then you start feeling the heat. But yeah, the several hours later still having it on. Maybe it was the amount that I had applied, I don't know. Uh, but it was still there several hours later. And the heat feeling that you get does fade away. But as for whether or not it actually works in burning fat, well, I'd have to do a deja re-review in that case to uh, really confirm if that works or not. Uh, but yeah, you've got to, you've really got to have it on the body, so to speak, to, uh, to really get that uh, noticeable effect. One thing I did notice when I did apply it, the sections that I had actually applied it to were going red quite quickly. Again, that'll be because of the heat treatment. Um, it's not uncomfortable, it's not painful in any, any way, it's not discomfort in, in any way, it just, it's an unusual sensation. You know, it's just a little bit of heat applied, which does go away, but at this point in time, having only had it for a couple of days, <laughs> at this point, I just don't know uh, whether or not it does do what it says in the package and burns fat away. It might, it might not. I just don't know. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a jump cut, and then we're going to see the naked torso. If these videos weren't already demonetized because of YouTube's strict rules, uh, then this would get it demonetized. Back in a tick. Okay, so what I've done in this regard, 
is I have just applied this lotion to one side of my abdomen. So you can sort of see perhaps I haven't rubbed it in too well, but you'll see in a minute or two that it will basically turn red. I can't actually see my screen, I'm afraid, at this point in time because it's hidden behind my light ring, which is obviously behind the camera. So I'm having to sort of look at a very jaunty angle uh, to actually see what's going on behind the screen there. But compared to the other side, and I don't think you'll see any no notable redness going on at this point. I'll just turn. I've also got my back arched so that I can actually get at this really awkward angle. So the abs may or may not be showing through as they normally would look. And for those of you who are into body aesthetics and stuff, yes, I do need to shave my abdomen and I just leave the chest as it is. Yeah, I like a hairy chest to be brutally honest. I don't like hairs on my abdomen, but I didn't bother to shave before this. So what? Who cares? It's just one of those things. It's only going to be on the internet watched by absolutely nobody forever until YouTube goes bust. But uh, yeah, I can actually start feeling the red, uh, sorry, the heat starting to show up now. It's actually starting to wear. Uh, to take effect here. I think from the angle that I'm looking at downwards at my own body, it does seem to be getting a bit on the red side. That's not a rash or anything, it's just what it does and that redness does fade after a while as well. Uh, but I can't tell from the viewfinder, because of its angle, whether or not it's actually uh, showing up or not. But all the same, yeah, I can definitely feel the heat coming through now. Um, yeah, it's uh, Oddly, I can't feel the heat on my hand. I've only used this hand to actually apply the product. I can still see it, so to speak, here. As best as I can get it. Um, obviously, you have to wash your hands to get it off, but as of this point, I don't feel any heat on the inside of my hand. I don't get why that is. Um, I think I can certainly start to see a bit more redness coming along on the body there. If we just take a good long look there, and then turn around so that you can see that side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this side is just looking normal, whereas this side is starting to look red. Front on view as best as we can. God, this, if anybody walks in on me whilst I'm do, doing this, it's going to look really, really weird. I've got no idea just what <laughs> the quality of the image is going to look like because of the jaunty angle of the viewfinder hidden behind the light ring. But then I did get a small light ring rather than a large one. Trust me to be cheap. Yeah, definitely, definitely showing more signs of going red. Whoopity-doo. There we go. And that's looking its usual pale white. Right, okie dokie. That's it. That's all I can tell you for now. Deja re review coming up probably in a couple of weeks' time when I can actually see if this does actually work properly or if it's just a crock of you-know-what. Bye for now.